Can first impressions be changed? Do you ever really get a second chance? I already have several videos on my channel discussing how hard it is to change someone's opinion about you, in particular when you make a wrong first impression. However, there must be a way, right? That's why in this video I will share six practical tips that will help you if you have failed to make the impression you wanted the first time around. My name is Silvia Giusto. I'm a keynote speaker and author who helps audiences around the world to understand how people make up their minds very quickly about them. And just like Oksana, I'm pretty sure you have also at least once heard the expression, you will never get a second chance to make a first impression. And yes, it's somehow true that if someone made a bad first impression on you, that even if you find out later you might have been wrong, the first experience, the initial imprint, will always contradict what you learned later. You have probably even been in this situation at some point yourself. Uh, maybe you have heard some unfavorable rumors about someone at work. But then later when you met them, you did not experience any such behavior during your interactions with them. In your mind though, the previous rumors are still pointing you towards the fact that this person is not nice or not trustworthy. And your brain continues to override the positive experience you had with them. However, this does not mean it is impossible to change a bad first impression once made. While we should always do our best to make sure our first impression is a stellar one, there are things you can do if something has gone wrong. And here are six of them. First, Sometimes you need to help people find a way to interpret your behavior more positively. If people see your actions were well-intentioned, then they will be more likely to see even a bad interaction as a positive. As an example, if someone knows you cut them off in a conversation because you got an urgent phone call of your loved one because he or she was in an accident, then it's very likely they will see the interaction in a different light when thinking about it later. If they find out you were having an off day because your dog or your cat just passed away, then their empathy will kick in and they will see the interactions they had with you that day as excusable and will be much more unlikely to affect how they see you in the future. So try to be vulnerable sometimes and allow people to better understand you if things went wrong. Second, while you may not be able to delete the memory, you can make new ones. If you cut off the wrong foot with someone, all is not lost. If you consistently make new and better impressions on them over time, they will likely begin to reform their initial impression they had of you and come to see you in a much more positive way. Soon they may even completely forget that initial interaction they had with you because they have had so many positive ones in the meantime. Third, to achieve that, repetition is key. Small yet repeated interactions build trust the fastest. A Harvard study suggests that it takes up to eight subsequent positive encounters to change a person's negative opinion of you. Overcoming a bad impression requires that all your future behavior has to be consistent with how you want to be perceived. So if you are really determined to win someone over after a rough start, you need to be persistent, consistent and patient. Fourth, simply say sorry. Most people really appreciate if you realize you have done something wrong, own your mistakes, learn from them too, and everyone can move on afterwards. Honesty can be a game changer in a relationship and goes a long way toward changing someone's perspective and perception of you. I have recorded another video that explains step by step how to apologize in a genuine and professional way at work, and I will link it for you. Check it out. Number five, get to know people better. The better you know others, the easier it is to show them that you actually care. If your coworker has two kids, find out their names and ask how they are doing. Is there a hobby they are passionate about or what's their favorite food or restaurants? It's not about being in their personal business as much as it is about showing the other person true interest in the first step. 
In the second step, pulling out those details during upcoming conversations to show that you remember them. And in the third step, making a connection with them so they can start to see you in a new way. The most important part of communication is actually not so much speaking, it is listening alike. Be sure to be a good listener and you will find mutual respect. Last but not least, sometimes you need help. Have someone else present positive information about you. For example, if you were wanting to land that dream job and the interview made a bad turn, a premium review or reference from an old boss or co-worker may turn the tide a little bit and show the interviewer that maybe you were just a little bit off that day. When they see that in the past people that have worked with you only saw positive and amazing things, it can be much easier for them to think their first impression may have been off. Look, we all have off days. We all are humans. We aren't robots. You are not always going to have your first impression picture perfectly laid out. You are not always going to choose the right outfit, the right attitude, the right words. You are not always going to be confident, prepared or able to do what's expected of you. However, what you can do is to always try your best and realize that an initial impression is just that, a beginning. If you would like to learn more about how you can control your first and ongoing impression, I invite you to stick around for upcoming videos and to connect with me on your favorite social network too. Also, I will leave a link for you to a free ebook that includes 130 ideas to make an impactful first impression. Because first impressions are indeed quick, powerful and lasting, which is why it's important to do everything you can do to make a good one or react accordingly if something went wrong. Thanks for watching.